from Halton. Mr. Speaker, I have a question for the Deputy Premier. Uh, the government's new uh, reverse uh, Reaganism strategy has uh, economists up in arms. The, um, the uh, Doug Porter, uh, the new chief economist for the Bank of Montreal Capital Markets, said it flies in the face of decades of experience and decades of evidence. The C.D. Howe Institute calls it very dangerous. And many more voices, wa voices warn of pork barrel politics, unpaid loans, and more economic mismanagement from the beginning government. Club. Even the Premier acknowledged earlier this year that governments are a break on growth. He was referring to red tape at the time, I believe. Deputy Premier, is your new reverse Reaganism strategy based on a certain model, a particular Bryant, study, a historical example? Is there a shining city, city on the hill where this, where this system has actually worked outside of Cuba or outside of North Korea? Minister of Finance. Minister. Speaker, in fact, uh, Where's that uh, the honourable member just asked a question. I would like him to listen to the response. Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in fact, um, a number of those economists have endorsed the government's budgetary policy, its fiscal policy. I can point to Jack Mintz. I can point to the C.D. Howe Institute. I can appoint to uh, senior economists with the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Right. Mr. Speaker, this government does have a variety of programs that are designed to create and attract new jobs to Ontario. Uh, in fact, we have a Toyota plant just outside of Woodstock that benefited from that. We have a variety of new, uh, new industries related to uh, renewable energy that are starting to build here in Ontario uh, because of various programs that this government's offered. These are difficult and challenging times, Mr. Speaker. We will continue uh, to put forward a budgetary and economic policy that will see us through uh, perhaps the worst downturn in the economy since the Great Depression and make this economy bigger, better. Thank you. Supplementary. <laughs> well, these partisan, untrained media darlings on the government side are going to go out and pick the winners and losers in Ontario. For the lucky winners or friends of the Liberal Party, this is great news. But for the losers, those companies who don't meet the hidden criteria of this disaster, this disaster, instead of competing on a level playing field, non-subsidized companies will only be up against the subsidized winners. But they'll also be paying them with their own tax dollars. Deputy Premier, why would any such, any small or medium-sized business, or loser, as you would call them, want to invest in land in a land where they are forced to subsidize their competitors. Minister. I wonder if the member is aware of a company called Roxol Incorporated in his riding, which received a $10 million loan to create or retain 232 jobs. Are you asking that that not be done? Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Barrett from Barrett Norfolk County, I wonder if he opposed the 7.1 $5 million dollar loan to Toyotetsu, the advanced manufacturing which will create or retain 250 jobs. I wonder if Mr. Hardiman from Woodstock is opposed to the 8.7 million. Yeah, he thumbs up. He supported it. 8.7 million advanced manufacturing investment strategy to create 365 skilled jobs. Mr. Speaker, these members opposite have supported these particular applications into their ridings. This government is pursuing a balanced policy that will see Ontario through the most difficult challenge in the economy since the 1930s and our economy. Thank you.